All right, guys, are you ready for some yoga or what? Okay, we're ready. Okay. All right, on three, should we go ahead and just shake some sillies out just to like make sure our, our bodies are nice and awake and we're waking up all the cells in our bodies? Oh, I love your tie-dye shirt, Tracy. Thank on you. Three. Okay. We gotta go from seated. Can you show me crisscross applesauce? Be seated. <laughs> crisscross applesauce, maybe some yogi glasses. Can you guys show me yogi glasses? Let me see them on your face. <gasps> There you are, yogis, hanging out with me. My name is Miss Jessie, and I'm your yoga teacher. And in yoga, we move our body into different shapes and like animals. But first, we start in crisscross applesauce. Let me see. Crisscross applesauce, can you sit on your seat? Cross those legs, yogi glasses on your knees. And then what do we do? We lengthen our spine really, 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 really tall. Good job, guys. Are you having a seat on a pillow? Love that. Crisscross applesauce. And then once I see still calm bodies, then we get to shake the sillies out. On three. Crisscross applesauce. I know I love your compass. Are we facing north? Let's face north. One, two, three. Shake the sillies out. Go crazy, go crazy, go crazy. Woo! Go forward, go backward, go side, to side, to side, to side. Can you show me a big star? And then a mountain pose, and then a star and a mountain, and a star and a mountain, and a star and a mountain, and crisscross applesauce. <sighs> Let's take a big breath in and reach up for the sun. Say hi, sun. And then breathe out, arms all the way down. Should we stand up and do this? Let's do it. Let's stand up and then we'll go right into our star salutations. So stand up nice and tall, reach up for the sun, say hi sun, and then fold forward, touch your toes. Take a deep breath here, in and out. And then can you reach up for the sun again? Reach up nice and tall, tallest, longest body. And then breathe out, pull forward. <sighs> ragdoll. This is ragdoll pose. Can you swing your arms like noodles? Whoa. And then, almost like a swaying tree, can you keep your feet right where they are, but then start to move your arms like a big windstorm, like a tree in a windstorm, or even a tornado going around in big circles? Woo! I love this one too. So good. Keep going, keep your feet right where they are. Can you move your legs like crazy? Like your roots are moving around? Good job, and then mountain pose, still body. Take a deep breath in, reach up, and pull forward, right off. Now, point your hands, jump back. Yeah, that's right, we're doing our star salutations, downward dog, and then upward dog. Now let's make some noises. Downward dog, ruff, ruff, ruff. Upward dog, oh. Plank pose. Can you show me a three-legged plank? This one's really, really hard. Lift one leg up. And then what's the golden rule? What we do on one side, you gotta do on the other side. And jump forward. Rad dog. Now cross your thumbs, butterfly up, namaste. Good job, guys. High five, high five, high five. All right, let's go faster. Can you keep up with me? Can you go even faster? But remember, if you can't, that's okay. Go as slow as you need to. Ready? And namaste. Butterfly up, butterfly down. Ragdoll, ragdoll. Jump back, plank pose, downward dog, ruff, ruff, ruff. upward dog, oh, downward dog, ruff, ruff, ruff. three legged dog, reach one leg up, and then the golden roll. What you do on one side, you gotta do on the other side, three legged dog, other side, and then down dog, jump forward, woo, rag dog. Now, chair pose. Sink those hips low. Can you sit in an imaginary chair? Take a deep breath in. And reach up for the sun. Hi, sun. Namaste. Hi, 
fives, high fives. All right, let's go around the world. Feet nice and wide, arms nice and wide. Right hand down and then lower and keep going. Nice big circles, woo! Scoop it all around. Can you go in the other direction now? Like a windstorm, like a spring windstorm, woo! And then arms wide, feet wide, jump together. Mountain pose. Now jump wide again, star pose. Can you point one toes forward and look over in that direction, bend one knee. Warrior pose, are you strong like a warrior? Show me your muscles. Yeah, can you grr, ready? Deep breath in, grr. I'm strong like a warrior. I can do anything that I put my mind to. Now lift one palm to face the sun and reach it up and reach back. Reverse your warrior. Look behind you for all of your wonderful warriors, your friends behind you, supporting you. And then come back, warrior. Good job, guys. Now push away from that leg. Can you do your warrior pose on the other side? Right, in yoga, what we do on one side, we gotta do on the other. Show me your strong warrior pose. Keeping one knee bent, standing like you're on top of a mountain, yes. I can conquer my dreams. Anything I put my mind to, I can achieve it. Arms out wide. Now flip one palm up, reach up and look behind you to all of your friends and your family supporting you on living your dreams. One more big breath. Reach back and show me your warrior pose. Yeah, show me your muscles. Let me see them. Let me see them. Good job, guys. And then push away from that foot. Straight leg star pose. Reach up for the moon. Say hi, moon. And then open your arms wide. And can you fold forward? Hands on the floor. Head is super heavy. Nod yes and nod no. And then hands to your hips. And out wide to a T. Can you do it? Now lift it up. Reach up for the moon and star pose. Now jump your feet and your hands together. <sighs> Mountain pose. Beautiful job, guys. High five, high five, high five, high five. All righty, let's go a little faster. Namaste, butterfly up, butterfly down. Ragdoll, ragdoll, mini break. Plank pose. Good job, downward dog. Three-legged dog, other side, three-legged dog. Now, let's do some donkey kicks. Bend those knees, shoot your feet up high, and then land back down. Can you do it? Kick. Good job, guys. Let me see three more. Awesome job. You might get a little tumbly. Do it two more. Woo, get higher. Woo. And then, Child's pose. <sighs> Drop down, let your head be heavy. Take a deep breath in and out. <sighs> Another big breath. <sighs> now, step your hands back. Can you show me a lion's pose? So our knees are wide. Show me your hands. We move our hands around, plant them down, we go. <sighs> like a lion. Show me your lion's breath. Big breath in. Then stick your tongue out. Another one. Big breath. And roar. All right, from our lion's pose, we're going to balance on our hands. Can you do it? Let's see. Plant those hands down. Come up onto your feet. Now, put some glue onto the backs of your arms and your knees. We're going to glue our knees to our arms. And then lift up. Crow pose. Can you guys do it? Lift up. Keep your balance on your hands. Whoa. Awesome. Remember, you got to put some glue. Super glue right on the back of your arm and your knee. Boop. Glue them right there. Once you're glued, hands are down. Look forward because your head is really heavy. You got to see where you're going. And then lift those feet. Take a deep breath. Woo. And if you fall, that's okay. Awesome job, guys. Yes, Mama Tracy, woo -hoo! good job. All right, let's stand up. 
Mountain pose. Namaste. Butterfly up. Butterfly down. Ragdoll. Ragdoll. Now, can you go from your ragdoll to flying like a bird? Lift one leg back, arms out wide. Deep breath. Flap those wings. And then can you jump down onto your belly from here? Ooh. Onto the belly. Yes, awesome. Inhale, lift up, cobra pose. And downward dog. Take a deep breath here. Ruff, ruff, ruff. Jump forward to your hands. Ragdoll. Now from your ragdoll, can you fly like a bird? Lift the other leg up. Arms up nice and wide to keep your balance. Flap those wings. Awesome job. <laughs> Careful with mama. All right, and then plant those hands down. Can you jump back? All the way to your belly. And then lift up cobra pose. Oh, or like a snake. And downward dog. Rest that head nice and heavy. Take a deep breath. And breathe out. Another one. Now, can you jump forward? Feet nice and wide, like a frog. Can you open those feet wide? Hover those hips low. Take a deep breath, hands together. Awesome, take another big breath. Now, hands down all the way onto your seat. And then, full pose, balance on your seat. Lift those legs up, row, row, row your butt gently down the street. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. <sighs> Time for us to use our imaginations. Woohoo! My most favorite part of class. Time to visit our secret garden. So I'm going to make sure you guys are all set to go into your secret garden. You lay down. Rest, use your pillows, get your blankets, whatever you want. Close your eyes because now all we have to do is turn on our imaginations. Get nice and comfy so that you can commit to letting your body be still. Yeah. Lay on down. Take a deep breath. Breathe out of your mouth. Another big breath in through your nose. And then sigh it out. One more. Now, bring your hand on your belly and on your heart. Start to feel your heart beating and feel the flow of your breath inside of your body. Smile really big as you feel that inhale and the breath come inside of your body. And then just relax into this time for us to use our imagination. Imagine that whatever you are laying on, your couch, your carpet, your yoga mat, all of a sudden lifts up off of the floor and you're hovering right above where you are and you feel totally okay about it, you're ready because you know it's time to visit your secret garden. So your magic surface, the couch, your yoga mat, whatever, all of a sudden flies out of the window above your house, above the streets and your neighborhood, above the whole city, and you're soaring up as high as the clouds. And everyone down below is waving at you saying, hey, Enjoy your time in your secret garden. We'll be here when you're ready, when you come back. And off you go, up to the highest peak, the tallest mountain that you can imagine in your mind. And even though the highest peak seems far away, all of the things that you love and bring you joy live right up there in your secret garden. So you land right at the top of the mountain 
and you step off of your support, your couch, your yoga mat, whatever, and you walk off. And then you notice, of course, Mr. Worry Tree is there. He's always hanging out outside of your secret garden, helping to bring some shade. And of course, he gets to take all of your worries from you. So pause here for a moment as you're standing near Mr. Worry Tree. Think about something that might be worrying you, that might be making you feel upset or anxious or frustrated. And let Mr. Worry Tree take that worry from you so that you can leave it behind and move on feeling happy, confident, courageous, and excited. And then all of a sudden, you go into your secret garden. You unlock the gates with your magical key. You step inside and you shut the door behind you. And then off you go, observing what is living inside of your secret garden today. Because today is a different day than any other day. Today has never happened before. It's a brand new, beautiful day where you get to explore what's up ahead. So walk down the path of your secret garden. Notice maybe it's sand or dirt, or maybe you're walking on grass or even snow. And notice what's around you. Maybe it's your best friends, maybe your doggies, your animals your family, your favorite toys, or maybe even your favorite activities like drawing or hiking or finding rocks. So hang out in your secret garden for a minute. Take three deep breaths with me with really still bodies. What is inside of your secret garden today? Two more big breaths with really still bodies. One more biggest breath in. And let a big smile come upon your face as you observe all of the wonderful things that live inside of your secret garden today. Your friends, your family, full of love, full of joy, full of happiness. And now it's time to venture on back. So walk back down the path to the door to your secret garden, open it up and shut the door behind you. And remember, you always have the key to your secret garden and no one else knows what lives inside of your secret garden except for you. And it can always change. So know that you can visit your secret garden anytime you want to. Hop back onto your support, your couch, your floor, your yoga mat, Wave goodbye to Mr. Worry Tree and say, thank you, Mr. Worry Tree, for holding on to my worries for me so I don't have to. And then off you go into the clouds as high as the birds, soaring through the beautiful blue sky. And you start to come closer to your home, the city, your neighborhood. There's your street. Oh, there's the window. Now you're back inside of your home. Start to take a deep breath in, feeling your body right on the support that you lie on. And then breathe out of your mouth. <sighs> Start to wiggle your fingers and wiggle your toes and feel movement come back inside of your body. Move your head. Now a big stretch, like you're just waking up. Reach your legs long, your arms behind you. Take a deep breath in and relax. <sighs> And then bend your knees, roll over, and come all the way up to a seated position, but try to keep your eyes closed. Crisscross applesauce, show me your yogi glasses with those closed eyes. And let's begin. Peace begins with me. Touch each finger to your thumb and keep going. Peace begins with me. Me. Can you keep those eyes closed and do it? Peace begins with me. One more time together. Peace begins with me. Now, hands together, right and tap you in front of your heart, and let's say namaste to all of our friends. Namaste, 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 namaste. And then all together, namaste. Thank you, yogis and yoginis, for being here with me today. My name is Miss Jessie. If you have questions, let me know.